Hey, two. Previously on Car Trek. Auto Tempest has challenged us to find out which one would generate the most revenue as an exotic rental car. But Freddie, I don't think you're necessarily up for that. There was a very small fire of the electrical variety. Which one would rent best? Why don't we do a challenge? Whoever wins gets to drive an Aventador, and whoever loses gets to drive the slingshot I just pulled out of the impound. You look like a bit of a tourist. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at him. You gotta see what's going on here. Everything there is melted. Are you ready, Tyler? I am ready to watch you do it. If you were to pick to drive one home today, which one would it be? Probably the Aston Martin. Yeah, I would take the Aston. That one? The Aston Martin, absolutely. Call in about the car that you've got for sale. All right, thank you, sir. Looks like we just got Freddie a car. The state of our union was generally turmoil. The charbroiled Maserati was no closer to functionality, and Tyler's CL65 remained against any odds for a popularity contest, but was the most likely to succeed. The Aston was clearly the star quarterback, but it was taking to the field with a broken leg and three concussions deep. On half of its V12, it wasn't going anywhere fast. But since Tyler and I couldn't let Freddie miss out on the fun, after a long night of shrewd negotiation and some dollar store decoration, we were ready to give Freddie his present. Our challenge today from Auto Tempest is to test the build quality of our depreciated supercars. We're supposed to go out to a nearby dry lake bed where a series of challenges awaits to see just how well built or how broken since then each of our cars have gotten. But Freddie, I assume you're not up for that challenge either. Not a Maserati needs a little bit of work, but I am hopeful. I can, I can get her running again. Freddie, we didn't want you to miss out on the fun, so we have a little surprise for you right around the corner here. Okay. You have to close your eyes. All right. Have to start walking. Slowly. Start right. walking. All right. Start All right. walking. Right. Okay. Did you know they have Auto Tempest on the internet here in Las Vegas do as they well? Know? Okay. They do, and we found <gasps> this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now, if the CL65 is a supercar, then so is this. Oh my gosh! For 90% off of its $104,500 original MSRP, just 9,000 of our dollars, bought you this 2007 BMW M6. So this was the same price as my car? It is, and it runs better in that it runs at all. It has a 500 horsepower V10, one of the most legendary engines BMW has ever produced, known for its bulletproof reliability, and <laughs> one of our favorite gearboxes ever installed in he's, an automobile. He, he's outright lying because it is one of the worst <laughs> engines ever made, one of the worst transmissions ever made, one of the ugliest BMWs ever made, uh, but it's the closest thing to an exotic that I could find uh, within the parameters, but uh, we did make it a Maserati-ish. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, right? Here or like in there? There, yes. My Maserati didn't even have racing stripes on the roof or the trunk. I missed Above that. Above and beyond yes. we've gone. So you can now join us to go and torture test this lovely automobile. It may last for an hour. Guys, okay, like I'm I'm being serious right now. Like I don't like this car. But it's a big but, okay? The effort that you've put in goes very much appreciated. Okay? We Thank will take you. the backhanded compliment and we will now watch you destroy this. Thank you so much. I am not gonna give up on my Maserati just yet, but I feel like in the sake of camaraderie, I think we should. Yes. Put this through its paces. Come play with us. Well, we have given up on your Maserati, so now we have the Maserati 6. Enjoy it well.
Why is there a Band-Aid on the dashboard? Because it's broken. Oh. There is a reason why people say it's the thought that counts, but I wanted to get acquainted with my hyper-powered hoopty before hitting the desert. Now this car right now, it's not vibrating itself to bits. I mean, there is a little bit of vibration. It does have 140,000 miles, but honestly, it's not that bad. It's more comfortable. It's definitely got more power. This has a 500 horsepower V10 that revs really high. I mean, really high, like 8,000 RPM. And it also has a SMG seven speed gearbox, but that is sort of the issue. So this seven speed is one of the worst single clutch automated manuals in the world. Also, that engine is one of the most unreliable engines to ever be put in any sort of performance car. So I understand why Ed and Tyler got me this car because they wanted a car that I would hate. But here's the thing, I don't really hate it all that much. However, knowing that those rod bearings in that engine or the Vano system or the cooling system or basically any other system attached to that engine can go at any minute and BMW is not a cheap brand to repair. I want my Maserati back. I'm, I really miss that car. I think that car with this manual transmission made it really special and I made it look like a race car even though Ed and Tyler did a great job making this look like a spiritual successor to my Maserati, but I just don't care. I am curious, however, to see how this does on our challenges today. We drove on for hours from any form of civilization, at least anything with decent Wi-Fi, and found ourselves in the middle of a dry lake bed in the kind of heat that would be considered moderate if you lived on the sun. As we arrived, my colleagues were eager to find out what I thought of their gift. Children, take note, this is what gratitude looks like. You love it? No. What? Yeah, it, it doesn't run good, it doesn't start well. There are many, 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 many air lights on that thing, but I'm here. Yeah, they're, they're awful, but yes, you get to participate today. Yes. Right. And, uh, I'm excited to see what the top speed still is on my CL65. I think it was 155 was electronically limited back in the day. Probably the same with your car. Yeah. Uh, Ed's, it's, whatever it was, it's not capable of it anymore. It was supposed to go 190 miles per hour, but on half its motor, brakes not working. I don't imagine we're gonna get that today. Also, as beautiful as dry lake beds were on television, they don't seem quite that smooth. There are a lot of ruts and rocks and rattlesnakes so we have those well, that's an added degree of difficulty you like snakes don't you i love snakes uh, in case you haven't met sunny she is a eight-year-old sun glow albino red tail boa constrictor she was there to offer emotional support which she is tremendous at we'll have to see if we can catch one in a bit but auto tempest has brought us here to this dry lake bed near las vegas nevada for a series of tests they want to see if these old depreciated supercars are as good as we have claimed. And so today we're gonna do a few different things to see if we can probably destroy them. The first one is the one that has me most concerned. They sent me a list and we are supposed to push our cars 100 feet and then race to a cone a quarter mile away and then come back. Now, we have very heavy cars. Yes, mine's definitely the heaviest, and this is more of a stress test of, of us than the cars. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense, but yeah. I'm also worried about you because your knees are from a dead person. You've had surgeries, right? That, that is true, yes. When I was in high school, parts of the knee joint actually died and had to be replaced with cadaver tissue. So I have dead people's knees. In fact, my right knee is about five years younger than the rest of me, and my left knee is about three years older than the rest of me. So I'm not much for pushing things. Is that like an actual thing? That doesn't sound like it's a thing. It is, about one out of every 10 million people have it. It's called osteochondritis dissecans disease. But actually years later, I ended up selling a Lamborghini to the guy who harvested my knees from the dead person in Florida. This is, uh, this is, this is getting weird. Yeah. Oh, just, right. just remember to push with your back, not with your legs. Oh, that hurts too. All right, let's do it. As if the portly heft of the Aston and the cadaver knees weren't enough to stack the deck against me, the Vanquish had one more obstacle to make winning this even more impossible than a quiet dinner amongst the real housewives of wherever. 
because of the way the Aston Martin's transmission is programmed, you cannot have it in neutral and not be running. So I have to get in, put it in neutral, start my car. It is so yes. hot. Let's let's just go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, goodness. Neutral. Woo! Neutral. Yeah, look at that. All right, parking brake off. It's crossing in front of me. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna hit him. Go. Oh, I can't see anything. I cannot see a single thing. And turn around, turn around. This is ridiculously dangerous. All right. Oh, holy cow, I can't see anything. No traction. There's Freddy. Nah. Can't see anything. Oh, he's scared of the dust. Whoa, I am quite behind. He's scared of the dust. <laughs> he chickened out. Down to first. Sling it! Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! 4,200 pounds of car! Oh, this is incredibly dangerous. All right, there's the start finish line. <laughs> oh, Tyler, what a win! What a win! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, I couldn't see anything. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? And, <laughs> what, have, what have you done here? Uh, and the door has broken. It won't, it won't open. Can well, you not get out? No, me? I'm pushing. With, with, I don't want to break, break. No, 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 no. Just stand back. We, got, we no, have a toe strap. It's got to come out in the front first. Add, hey, that's uh, the mirror that no, we have a toe, we have a toe strap. We can just we'll don't, no, it off. no toe strap. No. Yeah, no. Uh, this is the rest of your life now. Oh, hot, 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 hot. So, yes, so your Maserati's window doesn't work. No, and your door now doesn't work. The Aston, though, a beacon of reliability. Yeah. And, and that's what it's looking like. Yes. All right. Well, despite your quality failure here, I suppose you won that. Yeah, you chickened out. I chickened out. You like couldn't see me. You stopped, and then I just blew around you for the pass and yeah. the win. I couldn't see either. I just I just used the force. Oh, I'm sorry. I just don't want to kill my friends. Now, Apparently, well, you don't care about that. Uh, uh, so the next auto tippus challenge was a little bit more strange. Due to your lifestyles, occasionally your supercars will have to transport some precious cargo. I, I don't know what that means. Ah! <laughs> A baby. Is that a baby? What's a baby? That's a, uh, ooh, it's got a creepy looking face. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't think that's how you hold it. You have to, you have to hold it up here by the soft spot. Yeah, yeah that's No, it, no. It takes the pressure off the spine. Uh, wait, oh. this is a smart baby. It's got a wire. It, and it's got a bunch of controls and things. Is it listening to us right now? No, I think. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think it has like a G meter in it because it's, yeah. Okay, it yeah. cries when you shake it. The regular babies don't do that. No. So, I, all right, so I guess we're supposed to drive along this bumpy lake bed, and whoever has the baby cry the least, registers the lowest amount of G-forces, is the winner. Yeah. Yes. Why don't I go first to establish the losing mark, because I've got about half an inch of suspension travel and no adjustment. All right, well, I'm off to uh, shake this baby. And How are you holding we'll... the... Don't you have two of those? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, good. Oh my goodness. All right, baby, let's buckle you in. Let's see how this goes. No isofix points. Oh, well, that's great. It's about six inches short of reaching. All right, that won't work. Baby's just going to have to live with it. Also, fortunately, there is no threshold of heat measurement. Uh, my handbrake is not on, you terrible car. So we've agreed that we have to cross this lake bed at 50 miles an hour. A baby will die beyond about six Gs. And so we're not talking about sustained Gs, like the acceleration of a car it can be a little over one. Any moment, like a car crash could be 80 Gs. So, all right, baby, let's see what we can do at 50 miles an hour. Ah! So that car suspension 
when new was very harsh, but then it's totally worn out now. It's spent many years in Colombia and uh, the roads are kind of like this. The roads are exactly like this, so I, I guess that's probably the best car for this challenge, but I, I don't think that's true. That's absolutely not true. He's having his filling shaking out right now, and that baby's probably violently crying. Oh, it's okay. It's, it's all right. It's okay, baby. Oh, my wife better not watch this. Oh, she's never going to let me buy another one of these cars. Oh, oh, stop it. No, stop crying. Stop. No. All right, that's 50. All right, we're going. This is fine. This is fine. All right, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. Did this thing come with a pacifier? Oh, goodness breaks. Oh. The way he was holding that baby <laughs> just really makes me want to call Child Protective That's Services. It. Shaken baby syndrome, shaken baby syndrome. Shaken, not stirred, this baby. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh. All right, all right. That was awful. Holy cow, that was bad. Oh, oh, it cried a lot. It cried the whole way. And we probably boiled it. What, I don't know what temperature babies boil at, but well, it was all the cries. Okay, all right. So what are the odds that he hits a boulder and that suspension just shoots right through the hood? Freddy. Over. There. All right. 50 miles an hour. Suspension engaged at full ride height. Comfort mode, 50 miles an hour. Nice, smooth ride for the baby. Ah. Gentle. Should I sing it a little song? This is so peaceful. He's not going very fast. If that car were a more reasonable color, he would look like a drug smuggler in the process right now. <laughs> Little jostle there. Didn't disturb the baby though. All right, let's bring it around, nice and gentle. Yes. So far, so good. Ooh. When he gets here, even if he won, he can't open his door. Well, that's true, but with that beautiful dust cloud and that absolutely ridiculous car pulling up in the middle of this desert, it looks like he's gonna step out and share with us the top five secrets that every penny stock trader <laughs> has to hear today. Oh, yeah. Let's settle, settle, settle. It's just a little one, just a little one. See, it's okay, it's okay. There we go. Let's just tape everything up to make everybody nice and safe. You can hold that. All right, let's do it. Okay, so one thing I know about babies is that they like to be comfortable, but they also like to go really really fast. So we're gonna put it into M mode, which unlocks 500 brake horsepower. How you doing there, little guy? You good? All right, hold on. That has an electronically dampened suspension, right? So it- An awful one. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything yet. No. Now you might think that 500 horsepower is a lot. This guy would probably not say the same thing. I think, it's totally fine. What is he doing right now? We all agreed, 50 miles an hour in a straight line. I guess he's throwing the game. He doesn't care since he's losing. I'm gonna flip over my sandbox and go home. <laughs> yep, that's him. It's important for a baby to experience full development. And to do that, you need some G-forces every once in a while. It's like probiotics, really. Sometimes a little shake 
Can you cure what ails you? Oh, nice. My windshield wiper just fell off. I don't think any car has ever summarized Freddy Tavares Hernandez more yeah. adorned as we have. That is quite an insult. I wouldn't uh, let's let's be nicer to our friends. Babies love donuts. That's a scientific fact. <laughs> Okay, now my engine temperature is at around 250 degrees. And our baby might not be the most comfortable thing in the world. But there's one thing that's very clear, and that is one happy baby. All right, here's our results. Auto Tempest texted them to me. Okay, so I went first in the Aston Martin that spent a lot of time on surfaces like this, but wasn't by no means built for it. Excuses. Yeah. I got. 3.4 G's as a peak. Uh, it, it's it's bad. We won't beat around the bush here. There aren't any bushes to do that with. How much does it take to actually like kill a baby? I think it's like five G's. Well, it's interesting you say that because you actually hit 7.8 G's. So, so okay. So my baby is done. Uh, uh, that one absolutely gone. You're it, reporting it, the defects. Uh, I, I will say, it died doing what it loved. It was very very happy. So I, I think. I've heard that before somewhere. Uh, all right, Tyler, you reached a peak of 1.1 Gs. Wow. But a G-force is sudden acceleration and you just cruised along. Yeah, that. that it, it honestly looked like it would have almost no Gs. I may have sat on it, like jostled it because my doors broke. So you slightly crushed the baby. But it's just a G, that's, that's not, I won't kill it. Did it make the happy noise Freddie described as you did that? Made a, made a crunching noise, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, 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 all right, all right, all right. So well, you have won that, now you're up two. Uh, the third challenge that Auto Tempest presented us with says, you're in the desert and it's lunchtime. Okay. You must now use your cars to fend for yourself and cook the ingredients that will be provided. The most thoroughly cooked meal will win. Oh. It is hot. Our and cars I, are filthy. And I could eat. Ooh, what a cornucopia of delights we've got here. Is that a desert lunch? I, 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 this is a lunch for anywhere. All right, so uh, we'll, we've got chicken, steaks, and eggs. You know, Tyler, I bet that sunroof will cook an egg. Probably, yes. So. Absolutely. Now, we have a lot of vegetables as well, which I, I believe what we're supposed to do with them is that. All right. That's, that's what I always do. I, I, I need probably some asparagus because of the gravity. It's going to go down. That's so that a I, terrific if use I make a border of it, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I think the steak should probably go on the only car qualified. It's got a grill. Yeah. Wow. It's got a grill built in. That's a great idea. I'll do that. And you, the chicken on the hood of the BMW. Black. Yeah. It was getting a little hot, so I think that's probably. And you've got a hood vent. It's just like a stove. It's it's basically a barbecue. That's it. Let's cook the main course. Some beef. A lovely cut here. Just slather on a good bit of butter. It's really not any way to do too much. We got these lovely hot hood vents. Listen at that sizzle. Boys, we are in for a treat. I am not the greatest cook in the world. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've ever cooked a piece of chicken in my life before. How hard could it be? So we have butter that is almost 100% melted. So we will just, just do that. Mmm, that is really good. And that gives a nice layer from the uh, lots of dust. So we're gonna put this chicken, we're going to split it into nice little <laughs> nuggets, if you will, and oh, okay, chicken's not supposed to do that. Let's just put it on the, on the grill. There. We also wanna give it a little bit of canola oil, like you're spray painting a fender or something. And when that is good and cooked, then we'll put some barbecue sauce. Actually, you know what? Let's do it right now, why wait? So let's just put a little dab. Good, perfect, that is a lot of flavor. We are gonna have a very nutritious and efficient lunch. Welcome to Cooking with Hoovy, and today we are going to cook an egg, my favorite meal of the day. Now I have two methods of cooking an egg today on my sunroof. One, I'm going to build a border of asparagus. Uh, 
The other one I'm going to cut a ring out of this vegetable here. This vegetable will serve as the border for my egg so it does not run off my sunroof, yes. All right, now let's crack an egg. Egg one, in position, stay, stay, it's not staying. Oh, oh dear, um, we'll use this chicken to help it stay, yes. I'm feeling better about the second method here, yes. All right, and the vegetable, which will give it a nice poach. Oh, the paint, oh, oh. Well, I'll settle for a sunny side up with this, but uh, I'll let the sun do its work. Mother nature, yes. I feel like that's ready to eat. Teppanyaki Tyler, you are. Yes, can you do an onion volcano? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, so this didn't work at all. Let me check mistake. All right, uh, there is butter running down my hood. I'm gonna give it a flip. Oh, it's, it, it only indented it. That looks ultra rare. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a Pokemon. His eggs are too rare for Arnold Schwarzenegger. This would give me all sorts of E. coli and salmonella that would be blamed on my pet snake. But you though, I think you've, you've cooked it. I think it's time to demonstrate your expertise. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's try it. Delicious, yes. It's not the worst thing in the world. It, it's not the best thing in the world either. No. Medium rare is exactly how I like my chicken. You wanna try it? No. Come on, it's not that bad. No, I, I, I know where those hands have been. You don't want a, you don't want a, a, a BMW hood chicken? Pink in the middle, that's exactly what you want with your chicken breast. That's it, that's okay. just the texture. So uh, mine, mine's done, neither of yours are. So I feel like it goes to the right car. Uh, absolutely not, none of them are edible. That's not safe, you'll die I soon. I just ate it! You'll, yeah, and you will die from that. This didn't work, apologies Tyler, it was a valiant I, effort. I tried, And yes. I could tell you spent a lot of time in the kitchen. Thank you. Uh, my steak is a failure, and it's a absolute, oh, oh, goodness gracious. Oh, no, come on! <laughs> oh, the, the desert monster won't even eat that. It's totally fine. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, hold on, I'm getting another text from Auto Tempest. The worst part is the barbecue sauce. Ah. Your final build quality challenge will actually take place back at the rental house. Head back there, and you'll see what we mean. Okay. Well, I suppose that's what we do. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just, just power through it. It's got bones in it. I can leave a dent. We were thrilled that our cars had survived their torture testing thus far and even more thrilled to be escaping the desert heat. Back to the Feng Shui Palace we went, but I was still hungry and the cars were filthy. All right guys, I don't wanna leave this dust and all the butter on my car for too terribly long. I'm gonna swing in one of these spray washes on the way back to the house and get it blown off. Are you having trouble? Seeing, Ed? This might be the dirtiest an Aston Mark has ever been, other than the DBS that James Bond ran through the quarry and broke the doors off of. With the sun in my face, I am completely blinded by the dust and the eggs on the windshield. Completely. Freddie, you know you can go a little faster. I, I want to go faster. My car's uh, not, not exactly doing its thing. Did you break our present? I feel like your present isn't exactly living up to the expectations that my Maserati has set forth. It's the Maserati 6, of course it has. Oh, is that what the M stands for? Yep. That's right, that's what it says on the front. <laughs> oh. I just saw a pretty giant puff of dust come out of your right exhaust pipe there, Freddy. Uh, uh, it's not very happy right now. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull over here. All right, we're behind you. And it's dead. He killed another one. <laughs> He's by the door. Yes. All right. Uh, 
Car broke. What'd you do? What did I do? What did you do? Well, I, I gave mean, you, you a perfect car. You gave me a car that is not a performance car at all. It made it one day. I gave you a beautiful present. You abused it, drove it wildly unaffectionately. Our cars are driving better than ever, except for his door. And you have destroyed another car. You know, there's a reason why I don't like these cars, and this is exactly why. They are the most unreliable performance car you can buy. You brought the most unreliable performance car you can buy. It was totally fine until the fire. Beacon of German reliability. This really is the worst car you could have possibly thought to, to buy for him. Thank these you. Are, Thank these, you these very much. Awful. This is exactly what they do. Yeah. Well, he wasn't supposed to drive it that way. Why? I drove it like a BMW owner, okay? <laughs> I drove it exactly the way this car is supposed to be driven. And uh, I didn't see a single turn signal out there. He is correct. <laughs> well, is it hot? Uh, I, uh, a little bit. It's a, it's a little hot. Yeah, it's it's real hot, dude. What? It, smell, it smells a little bit like raw fuel. Yeah, it was dumping dust and everything. Do you think you clogged the cats? I don't think I clogged the cats from that. I think it's probably because somebody negotiated a bad car. You are the car killer. So, yeah. Um, All right. Can I ride with one of you? No. No, our benevolence has ended. And we are going to go along, wash our cars, and you can fend for yourself. Are you being serious? You can yes. figure this out. Lots of things to raise money are legal in Nevada. I, I <laughs> Good luck. Will you really not give me a, a ride? We saw you push it earlier. You beat us all. Just go right ahead. You've got it. I don't know where I am. <laughs> it gets really cold at night. That's not true. That isn't true. It gets really hot. Oh. Is that what you're gonna do now? Just rub it in my face? Ah, oh, crap. With the M6 performing exactly as it would be expected to, Freddy got yet another chance to be the warranty. Meanwhile, Tyler and I made a quick pit stop to remove the dirt and cholesterol from our cars. As the desert sun set over the land of a million light bulbs, Tyler and I decided we needed to see just how wonderful our cars would look blasting down the strip. Eventually, though, we made our way back to the Auto Tempest house to find our next challenge. I see you made it. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, yes. Hello, Freddy. Yes. Hello. Push it real good. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's real hard to push a car when you don't know where you're going. Well, that's, that's your fault. <laughs> Auto Tempest told us to gather in the grotto, and in the grotto is this sacred elephant bowl. Okay. Which we're in a mansion, mm -hmm. sitting in a grotto. Oh, I mean, makes that. me think. So my text said that we would have an opportunity to experience each other's cars like never before. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, so yes. I'm guessing. Yes. Mm hmm. <laughs> Key? I need an adult. And I guess tomorrow we'll draw one of each other's keys. And since this is part of our reliability test day, I, I suppose it's up to us to find out everything wrong with each other's cars. Yes, outside of the mechanical. So like all the little buttons and things that don't work, we can just tally them all up for a true quality test, yes? Yes, I hope you brought a cassette tape, one of you, because we'll need to find out. Uh-huh. So somebody's going to take your car and just completely destroy it. Well, you know, it could have a good day tomorrow. The car goes both ways. Some days it's glorious. It might be great tomorrow. Uh-huh. Well, I guess we should get some sleep, because tomorrow I'm going to get to enjoy a car with some air conditioning. What is this? What is this? Seriously? <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Car Trip. I think we should just draw. Draw, yeah. Yeah! Manly noises! I don't see how Tyler gets to win this thing when he brought the most normal car of us all. You will meet a very qualified appraiser who will let you know if you actually got a good deal on these cars. Yeah. Pop the hood. Uh, no. Is there a dead hooker in the trunk? You have the most beautiful car Ford ever made. Your car yeah. makes me sick. What? It's appalling. 
Next week, only one of us will win, and that means the other two have to list their cars for sale on Auto Tempest. But they'll be in good company with more cars available for sale than anywhere else on the internet. Auto Tempest compiles all the cars from all the major listing sites to make it easier than ever to find your perfect car. And if you're in the market, check the link in the video description below. AutoTempest.com, all the cars, one search.